are the guardians, protectors of children's dreams. That's Bunnymund, and Tooth, and Sandy. That's me, North. Together, we are known as the Guardians. Hi, I'm Rob Cram, and today we're taking a look at D3's DreamWorks movie tie-in video game of Rise of the Guardians. It sees release across multiple platforms. The story is simple enough. Take five heroes from popular folklore, North, aka Santa Claus, Tooth, the Tooth Fairy, Bunny Mun, the Easter Bunny, Sandman and Jack Frost. The five heroes then make their way across individually themed locations across the globe, stamping out nightmares from the evil opposition in the form of the well-spoken Pitch character, the bad guy. The goal is to defeat Pitch and make the children of the world believe in the characters once more. At its heart, the game does tread firmly into the Baldur's Gate top-down hack-and-slash area, but in the most least offensive way as possible, remembering the target audience here. There's a very simplified version of other, more adult games here, and it actually works very well. Players can jump into the shoes of any of the five characters and change at will any time during play. Each character has their own attack style, as you would expect. So, if you're looking at games like Gauntlet, replace the warrior class with North, the Archer with Bunnymund, and you get the idea. Combat comes thick and fast, although does get a bit repetitive as players hammer the attack button, perform special moves, and scout the various regions. Players are tasked with the same activities repeated in each area, which include cleansing portals for use, rescuing captives, and hunting for treasure. All of the items of interest are well visible on the map, which is easily accessed and really doesn't leave any stone unturned in terms of offering assistance. In a way, it's somewhat too easy for older players who could still get some enjoyment from the game, but probably just about right for younger gamers. What's neat in this game is the fact that from the offset, players can choose which areas to explore first, offering an open world theme. Areas can be revisited for missed items, and with a bit of exploration, more areas become available. Once the children start to believe, as tasks are completed, players can then tackle pitch and various moments in the story. This is the game's singular boss character, and is quite easy to take down, especially as players level up their characters. As with any self-respecting action RPG, there's levels and extra skills to distribute, which is handled very well for the younger audience, even including an auto-level up option for the other heroes, especially useful if players stick to a preferred character. It's no nonsense, and it works. Rise of the Guardian adopts an animated look that captures the essence of the movie, except graphics across the two mediums are simply worlds apart. The top-down view keeps the characters far away enough to not be too fussed about the details, although to make up for this, there are some varied environments to explore. The graphics could have been more detailed, but in context of the overall theme, work well enough and are probably not something younger players are going to be too concerned with. Audio is reasonable, although some looped music and repeated phrases from the heroes are noted as annoyances. Also, the game's use of storyboard-style paintings to tell the tale between levels is very basic and could have had in-game cutscenes to make the transition less jarring. For younger players, there's a fair bit of content in the game, with various extra challenges to mess around with once the story is beaten. There's also the rather cool option to have up to three additional local players jump into your game at any time. There's no online option, which seems like a missed opportunity but given the age group the game is aimed at is probably a good thing. Rise of the Guardians is an inoffensive, charming action RPG for younger players, and in addressing such an audience is naturally going to mean less expectations from what's on offer. D3 have made a good game here, although in some ways it does feel like it could have offered a bit more to separate it from downloadable games offering similar content for much less. As it stands, for younger gamers or parents wanting to play with their kids, this is a good place to start. There's no swearing, no blood, and just some mindless action that constantly rewards players. With its easy drop-in and out co-op play, this is a solid investment for the cold winter nights. Rise of the Guardians scores 6 out of 10. I'm Rob Cram, thanks for watching.